With me now is Tara Vanderdusen, who is the Impact Summit by Farm Her keynote speaker. Tara, you shared some great insight on our industry. Um, but before we go into that, talk a little bit about yourself. Uh, tell us your involvement with the industry and kind of your background. Yeah, so I uh, grew up on a dairy farm and I married a dairy farmer, so dairy farming is pretty much my entire life. Um, I actually got my degree in environmental science and practiced as an environmental consultant for the last 10 years in the dairy space and then stumbled upon social media and have been just sharing uh, our ag story, our farm story for about eight years and uh, that has obviously progressed and changed over the years and now um, I'm co-host of a podcast and so that is where you'll find me the most often these days. Very, very busy. I mean, you do a great job promoting not only your guys' family, um, dairy, I should say, but also the industry. Why is that so important to you? Yeah, when I first started showing up online, it wasn't necessarily to promote any product. It wasn't like we were selling something on our farm. It genuinely was just wanting to share the sustainability message for dairy farming. You know, dairy farmers are doing such incredible things across the country, and I just felt like no one was really highlighting it. And so, you know, through my consulting role, I felt like I was kind of boots on the ground of being able to see what farmers were doing and things they were implementing, and I wanted the opportunity to be able to share that and showcase that. Absolutely. You mentioned earlier, too, there's three questions you get from outside consumers. What are those questions, and why do you think they're the most important? Yeah, so in the last year, I've spent a ton of time guesting on other podcasts. We've guested on almost 50 podcasts in the last year. And there's three questions that is just like reoccurring, or three comments. And it really is about greenhouse gas emissions for agriculture. So not any one sector, just overall, what is, you know, ag's impact on this greenhouse gas conversation? And then cattle's impact. I mean, I feel like you cannot scroll through social media without hearing or seeing headlines without hearing something about cattle's impact. And so truly, like, do we need cattle? What is cattle's role in impacting the environment? And then finally, this conversation that is really like buzzing right now is that regenerative ag conversation. So what is regenerative ag? What does it mean? Um, you know, our, why wouldn't all farmers be regenerative ag? And just all of the, the labels associated with kind of that and what that means for the rest of agriculture, conventional ag. Um, and those are just the reoccurring themes we hear about over and over again. Well, you're so knowledgeable, so educated. You live this life day in and day out. But how important are events like this for everybody to come together to be educated on things they might not be aware of? Yeah, I feel like you come to one of these events and you just leave so on fire for like what you want to do, what you want to pursue. I mean, it's so incredible to see so many women in a room together talking about agriculture and something we're all so passionate about. Um, and so I know, like personally, I'm just like leaving just excited and amped up and hearing all the different speakers and what people are doing. And, and I feel like sometimes you can be, you know, kind of isolated on your rural farm. And so it's so great to come together and see exactly what are people doing? What are other people in the industry, outside of the industry, you know, marketing, all of these things, how, how are they all impacting our agriculture community? And so it's so cool to see that. Most of our viewers at home have a tie to agriculture or livestock in some form or fashion, but you have mentioned um, that more and more generations are being removed from the farm. They're being removed from the industries. Um, kind of what's your advice to getting people back on the farm or being more involved? Yeah, in my speech today, I talked about that as like meeting consumers where they're at, and they may not be where we expect them to be. I feel like within ag, um, you know, we are such a close, tight knit community with that in ag, and that can make us so strong, but it can also like, I feel like segregate us from like the rest of like our non ag, you know, our consumers out there. And so really figuring out where they're showing up, how are they showing up online? Each generation's a little different. Um, and again, just meeting them truly where they're at and giving them the, you know, the information and the questions they're asking. They want to be a part of this food dialogue. I feel like post, you know, pandemic, we have a new food landscape and how people want to know about where their food comes from so we have to show up and be there to kind of answer their questions engage with them and, and have this dialogue with them about exactly how we're producing the food that they you know they love and they know and how we're going to continue doing that into the